better way to do a grocery haul video than during the middle of the apocalypse. Just to be able to show you the things that I was able to scavenge out of the dirt and stuff. No, bad, bad. I just did a grocery shopping trip. I wanted to take you guys with me, but just with the way things are going on in the world right now, I didn't feel like that was a very good idea. So I decided to go ahead and just kind of lay out everything I got while at home to show you everything that I got for $130. It's a lot. This should last us a while. I wasn't gonna do any big grocery shopping because we were gonna be leaving for our honeymoon and stuff, but for the foreseeable future, I don't believe that that's gonna be happening. So I went ahead and just bought groceries for the next couple of weeks because we don't know what will be happening. So. Let me show you everything that I did get. So basically today I went to three separate stores. I went to Aldi first because I can always find a lot of things at Aldi that I love. And I mean, they have a lot of the same things that bigger stores have, but usually they might be in bulk or they'll be cheaper. So for example, I got this bag of yellow onions. This will last me a long time if they don't go bad. Um, and then that way, anytime a recipe calls for an onion, I will already have one in my pantry so I don't have to like worry about going to the store and getting it, which is why I like buying these in bulk. I also picked up a bag of red onions for the same purpose. Red onions are really good in a lot of the recipes that I do. So red onions were a good choice for me to get a bulk bag for as well. I got some red potatoes, green giant. I've been craving some like red potatoes recently, some like red potatoes and green beans or something like that. So I think that might be a meal that I can kind of come up with the next couple of weeks. I picked up some zucchini. I can make some zucchini noodles and we can have something with that some tomatoes on a vine, avocados. This was, I think it was four for $5 and I picked up five thinking it was five for $4, but whatever, got some avocados. I can make some avocado toast or something like that with. Avocado goes good on omelets, on sandwiches, for example. Like I, I, I love it and I just, feel so silly because I just recently um, discovered that the calorie count in the avocado is minus the skin and the pit and I had been weighing it with at least the skin. So I was trying to avoid it because I knew they could kind of be higher in calorie and they weren't super filling for me. But the past couple times that I have had avocado, I really liked it on my toast. So I also picked up a couple of these salad kits. I love these salad kits. They are so incredibly easy to just throw in a bowl, mix together and set out at dinner time. You don't have to do any extra prepping for them. Um, and then that way you can have some kind of green to go with your dinner. I also picked up a bag of spinach, which I used to hate spinach and now I like it all the time. Like I eat it as a salad with some shredded chicken. Um, any of the packages of like creations, the starkest ones, you can even kind of use those and put it on top to make a salad with. I love putting berries on the spinach with some of my Skinny Girl Raspberry Vinaigrette. So good, good stuff. Um, I picked up a cantaloupe some more um, egg makers, which I've been using a lot in the morning to kind of help fill me up with protein and stuff like that. I really love the Boca burgers and I picked up some zero calorie buns. I know you guys always, always, always ask me about these and I have a grocery store near me that sells them, but you can also get them online at Thin Slim Foods. I'm gonna try to reach out to them to see if I can get you guys a code or something like that since I do use them so much. I think it'd be really awesome for you guys to be able to go to that site and get some of these yourself. I also got some hot dog buns as well. So they have hot dog buns, hamburger buns, regular bread, bagels, and then a bunch of noodles and stuff like that as well. So um, I got some bananas. I got some black bean penne because pasta. I got Ian some Cheez-Its, even though they're the Aldi brand, just because they didn't have the actual brand there. Um, sprouts, spicy chicken, veggie burgers. I haven't tried those yet. They're vegan, so they don't actually have meat in it. I got some ready rice. And another type of oven meal that we could throw together in the oven. I picked up some granola. This stuff is really good. Um, it's 120 calories for a fourth of a cup, which is not that bad. You can put it in yogurt, put it on some toast with some peanut butter or something like that as well. Just kind of um, add it to your oatmeal to make it crunchy if you like crunchy oatmeal. I picked up some buffalo style chicken flatbread pizzas because I love flatbread and buffalo chicken 
style pizzas, my favorite. So I got two of those, one for Ian and I. Some steamed roasted potatoes and green beans that we can do in little steamable bags. A couple of the berry melodies. I can make some smoothies with these. I can throw that in with my yogurt or my oatmeal as well to kind of give it something. Some of these meatless Italian sausages. I love these things. They are so good. It's 140 calories per link, but I've bought them several times before and I can put them in pasta. You can eat it on a bun. You know, it's just, there's all the things that you can do with it and they're meatless, so it's kind of cool. I'm not vegan, obviously I'm not vegan, but I do like to eat everything. So I will eat vegan meals sometimes and that's just, you know, kind of how it is. I also got some of these crab cakes. Moving on, see, I got crab cakes that I'm really excited to try. They're kind of expensive, but I figured if we're stuck in the house for three months, we might want something new to try. So I got some of those. I got some french fries and the only package of chicken I got, which I'm hoping I can find some more somewhere else, is this um, boneless skinless chicken thighs from Aldi as well. A lot of boneless chicken breasts is sold out right now. And I have maybe, maybe two pounds in my freezer, but I don't even think I have that much. And we eat a lot of chicken, so this is all I was able to find, which is kind of disappointing. And then I picked up some fresh berries, some blackberries, and some raspberries. Um, the most exciting thing I got, though, is this Danish butter cookie creamer for your coffee. I do not drink creamer for my coffee, but um, today I decided, you know what? I'm gonna get some of this because I need something to make me feel better about the world and the situation that's going on around me. So I got some of that as well. And then um, I picked up a couple of little beverages for Ian and I later. And then last but not least, I got my silk milk that I use for everything. So that is my grocery haul. That is all I got. All the recipes that should be coming out of it the next few weeks might use some of these things, um, but I'm not really 100% sure yet. I just wanted to show you guys everything that I got. It all came to about $120. My biggest tip for when you go grocery shopping is to look for sales in the ads. I know it's something I used to never do and I would just go in and aimlessly shop. And I'm still pretty bad at that, but if you look at the ad, then you kind of have an idea of what you want and you'll know what you look for whenever you're going into the store. And then if you see other things that are like, oh, that's a good deal, I can make something with that. I, that's when I typically pick it up. Another big thing that I do whenever I go grocery shopping is I always look at the nutritional fact on the back. Um, I look at the carb count, the protein count, and the calorie count. Mostly, I look at the calorie count because I wanna see what kind of a meal it could be for me. You know, if it's a really heavy calorie meal or if it's a lower calorie meal. So that is everything that I got though, guys. And uh, here's my first grocery haul during the apocalypse. I think we'll be fat and happy for a while or so I hope. If you're watching this video and you were affected by everything that's going on right now and you've been laid off or something, my heart goes out to you so incredibly much. Um, I can't believe going through that situation and I feel so bad for all the kids that are going without school lunches. I was in that position before where if I didn't go to school, I didn't know if I was gonna be able to eat lunch. So my part right now is I'm trying to see if there's a local school near me that I can go to to help distribute these school lunches to kids because it's something so personal to me and I really hope that I can help in every way that I possibly can. Um, you know, I can't donate a lot of money for research or anything like that, but if I can at least give out meals, I think I would feel a little bit better in this whole situation. So anyways, that's enough rambling. I'm gonna let you guys go and I'll talk to you guys on the next grocery haul.